Hey guys, Avery with Skip Tactical Solutions with Talk To Me Thursday. As you guys come on, please let me know where you're joining us from. Very excited because today I have a huge announcement to make at the end of the live video. As you guys come on, please let me know where you're joining us from. How was everyone's week so far? Every Thursday night, we come on to the Instagram and the Facebook Live and answer questions that we have previously received. This week, I did not have any questions, so I kind of freestyled it, and I will be talking about some things that I think are important. Hi, Christopher Powers. Thanks for joining. Hi, Dexter. Thanks for joining. Both of you guys are from North Carolina. Oh, man, it's raining in Indiana. It's been raining here in Florida as well. All right, so today, um, I am not Leo, I am active military. So like I said before, if you guys can make sure that you stay tuned for the end of the live video because I have a huge announcement to make at the end of the live video. Um, the video today will be a tad bit different. It will be mainly um, me asking you guys Sorry guys, the live broadcast was paused really quick because of a Ember Alert that came through. If you're on Facebook, you guys can share the video if you think there is some valuable advice or information that I'm sharing. Alright, so thanks for joining me for Talk To Me Thursday. I hope that you guys are having a fabulous week ahead of you. Um, hopefully a good weekend to be coming. Um, let me know how your week is going so far, if you got plans for the weekend. Um, like I said, this video will be an interactive live video. Um, I will be asking questions and I want you guys to comment below and give me some answers. Um, and for the people who will be watching on the replay, please interact on the replay as well. If you guys are on Instagram, the replay is only for 24 hours, but I will be uploading this video onto my YouTube channel. Um, on my Facebook, I got a question. Daryl, he asked if I have the concealed carry purses for sale. Um, I do, they're on my website, skipstacticalsolutions.com. And if there is any questions, feel free to reach out to me. Okay, so please interact. Um, I feed off of your guys' interaction, so let's make this a really good video. And my first question is, what are some of your fears in regards to guns or some of the fears that you had in regards to guns previously. So um, some of the things that I have heard from new shooters are that they're heavy and that the gun will be hot after you shoot it. So comment below, let me know some of the things that you guys have heard when it comes to fears in regards to new gun owners. Um, a lot of people have fears and those fears um, come from different things that they've heard from different people, and not all of those things are true. So sometimes people may have a fear and it's just not even necessary because it's just some kind of myth or whatever people have been telling them that's not true. Um, Matthias Tactical said, I used to be scared of guns with hammers. 
I've heard that as well. A fear of not being as good as shooter as you need it to be. So that is a um, fear that a lot of people have. You know, they're really intimidated when it comes to going to the range and not really being at the level of everyone else. Um, my advice is to make sure that you remember we all had to start from somewhere, right? We didn't all come out the gate being amazing shooters. So don't ever compare yourself to anyone else. Um, your, what is it? I guess, you know, your journey is your journey and their journey is their journey. I can promise you when I first started shooting, I was horrible. Um, but you just have to not compare yourself to other people. Um, a question that I got on Facebook was from Perez. He said, no, sorry, Perez. Uh, the fear I mostly hear is their children accidentally harming themselves with it. That is another good one as well. But if we educate our children and we properly store them, that really shouldn't be an issue. Um, Alex said that he heard that they are addictive. Um, I've heard that. Um, I've also seen that when I have new shooters come to the range and they're like, oh, man, you know, I'm so scared. And then I actually get them out there and they shoot for the first time. And they're like, I got to sign up for another class. Like, I loved it. <laughs> John Jeffrey Clark, that's another one, too. Everybody has a completely different standard. Um, some people get to go to the range all the time for their job. Some people do not. So definitely don't compare yourself to anyone else. Um, Monique on Facebook said, gun going off by accident when I can still carry in the belly band and shooting myself. Um, that is a good fear to have because you actually respect the firearm. But what I will say is whatever you guys do, please make sure that you do it dry first. I always do my dry fire, even when I got my brand new con chameleon concealed carry purse, the first thing that I did was dry fire. And I got really comfortable with the dry fire and then I introduced live rounds to it. So that's definitely something that you need to do. Um, Biggie Rob, um, right now I do not, um, the only thing that I do is gun safety classes, but if you have any, um, suggestions for me, please message me so that we can talk about it. All right, so I really, really appreciate all the feedback with the first question, so I'm going to, um, actually, I just saw another really good question on Instagram, so naturally eerie for me. Um, said that accidentally shooting myself while cleaning my gun, I've known friends who are officers that have shot themselves accidentally. So um, when it comes to accidentally shooting yourself or um, having a accidental discharge, that's typically always due to negligence. So if you have good safety practices that you do all the time, so every time I touch a firearm, I make sure that it's cleared, even if I know I was the last one that touched it. So um, if you always practice good safety habits, that's something that you really shouldn't run into. But really good questions and um, thanks for all the feedback, guys. So the second question that I will ask you guys is, have you ever taken a professional training class? If so, what were your thoughts, positive and negative? And if you have not taken a class, what are some of the reasons why you haven't taken a class? Juice, man, thanks for joining from Puerto Rico. Juice, man, can you please um, send me a private message? Um, I had a question on Instagram. He said, going to the range for the second time this weekend. I've been shooting left and low on my first time. Any tips? Um, you always want to make sure that you're practicing all of your fundamentals. Um, that could be, I don't ever like to pinpoint one single thing. That could always be that um, maybe you have too much of your finger in the trigger. So for me, I like to only put the front pad of my finger in and find my sweet spot. And you can find what that is for yourself, 
by actually just doing dry fire at home. So the second question that I asked was, have you ever taken a professional training class? What were your thoughts, positive and negative? Um, and if you have not, what are some of the reasons that you have not? Um, so for me, I have heard that classes can be expensive for some people, but in my opinion, they're truly an investment. This is an investment in your personal safety, and uh, for me, that's something that's kind of invaluable. I know a lot of us spend money on things such as coffee, eating out. I don't know about you guys, but I have kind of like an ice cream problem. So I know I spend money when it comes to ice cream, right? But when it comes to your personal safety, take one second and think about what is your personal safety actually worth? Um, Matthias Tactical said that he has received some tactical training. They are both good, and the best training I've received was EDC-based training. That's good. And good on you for actually taking um, some classes. And John Jeffrey Clark said female instructors, I believe, are better. <laughs> I think they are, too. Um, John Jeffrey said NRA has good classes. And what I will tell you is out of all the classes that I've been to, I have absolutely taken something from every single class that I've been to. Every school, whether it be shooting or just informational based class, I've taken something away. I've taken good and I've taken bad from classes as well. So go out there and see what everyone has to offer. Um, make sure that you do your homework, look at the reviews, make sure it's actually worth you spending your time and your money on right before you actually take the course. Um, on my Facebook, I have Monique said, I've taken two intro to handgun classes. Cons was not enough range. The range time was rushed and we only shot revolvers because they were quick to load. Um, when it comes to my classes, uh, I my intro to pistol class is two hours. I really feel like two hours really doesn't do a student justice. If you're going to a class and you're only sitting in the class for an hour and then you're going to the range, um, that's, that's not really getting a lot of information. So I do two hours in the classroom and then an hour on the range. So those are questions that you can ask ahead of time just to make sure that it's actually what you want. Um, let's see. Sorry, guys, my Instagram video froze. But if you guys have any other questions, feel free to put them. All right, so another question that I have is, have you ever felt like you were in a situation, sorry, So this question is, have you ever felt like you were in a situation where you were scared and needed protection? If so, what did you do to change it? Um, for me, I just had a, um, I guess I'll say a follower who contacted me probably a few months back and was asking questions about concealed carry. They asked questions about concealed carry, 
but they did not apply for their license. They had already taken a class, they hadn't taken my class, but they had a lot of questions, right? So I encourage people to, once you take the class, to so go ahead and set up an appointment. Set up that appointment so that you actually follow through because you've already taken the step to take the class, so just go ahead and get it, right? So they um, hadn't applied for it, and now, they encounter a situation of road rage, and it was a male. He had his pregnant wife in the car with him, and the person actually took a gun out of the vehicle and pulled a gun on them. So he said from that point, he immediately applied. He went and set up an appointment for the concealed carry license. So have you ever encountered a situation like that? Um, I am in Florida. Monique, I think that is um, correct. Um, on my Facebook page, Monique said, I think more gun ranges should offer gun cleaning classes. As a new shooter, I have no clue how to, how to clean her gun. So um, I definitely offer gun cleaning classes because I think it's very important. Um, you need to know, you need to be very intimately involved with that weapon. You need to know all the burrs, any kind of crack when it comes to that firearm. Um, but if you don't know how to shoot it, I mean, sorry, if you don't know how to clean it, if something breaks, then you're not going to know. And so you typically have to pay someone else to clean your firearm, and it's not really worth it. John Jeffrey, um, here in Florida, you can actually schedule an appointment to go down and apply for your concealed carry license. So kind of like the DMV, you schedule an appointment instead of just sitting there. Hi, Natalie. Thanks for joining. And uh, hey, Crystal. Thanks for joining. For the people that are on Facebook, could you please share if you think that the video adds value? Any other people on the video feel like they've ever encountered a situation to where they were actually scared and they thought to themselves, I really need something to protect myself? I hear um, a lot of people actually encounter these situations and then they decide to take a class. But as a reminder, once you decide to take a class and you still, depending on the state that you're in, but here in Florida, it's going to take about um, anywhere from three to six weeks to get your concealed carry license after you apply for it. Here in Florida now, they have it to where you can schedule an appointment online and actually go in and apply for your license. You can snail mail it, which I never really recommend you snail mail anything. And then you can actually um, do everything online now for Florida as well. You can upload all the requirements. I have on Instagram where I think it's Chanel Pearl stated, yes, I just had a had a woman hear a conversation I was having. I guess she didn't didn't like the conversation she literally charged my mother daughter and I after that have been tons of research um before we take a course with you should we already have purchased your own gun I just received my license um I recommend that you do have a handgun already because I would love to train you on your handgun but if you do not have a handgun um, I could walk you through some handguns that I recommend or I do have rental guns available as well but you do not have to already have a gun um, another question well sorry well on Facebook um, Kevin says, and my day classes just weren't available. I'm 47 and on my fourth care renewal. My TKD instructor was extremely helpful in practical self-defense. I highly prefer edge weapons, but I carry both often. Um, our next thing will be, what are some myths that you have heard about guns? Um, you go ahead and comment those below. 
And some of the myths that I have been told by other people is that, you know, oh, well, I was kind of amazed that the gun just doesn't go off by itself. And then um, some people have also been told to not carry with the round in the chamber. So I will comment on both of those. Um, guns are just objects and objects do not do anything without humans, right? So um, when it comes to a gun, it's just not going to go off by itself. There has to be an action by a human to make it actually go off. Just like um, unless you can afford a Tesla, you know, cars really don't normally drive themselves, just like guns don't go off by themselves. And then um, not carrying with a round in the chamber. Um, if you have to wait until you are confident enough to carry with a round in the chamber, then you may need to do that. But depending on the firearm that you have, you know, whenever you go to engage a target, if you have to take your gun off safety, if you have to put a round in the chamber, those are precious seconds that you're losing that you really don't want to lose. So are there any myths that you guys have heard when it comes to your firearm? Absolutely, it's definitely a tool and you need to um, carry with a round in the chamber. But that comes with practice and actually being confident in your ability and your firearm. Hi Zach, thanks for joining. Hi Harry, thanks for joining. Natural Love, thanks for joining. You Know That, thanks for joining. Porch, thanks for joining. And Urban225, thanks for joining. Shamika Green, hi, thanks for joining. So you guys haven't heard any myths when it comes to firearms. I know there are a lot of myths that are out there, but when it comes to firearm training, any of those things, make sure that you talk to a professional because if you talk to someone who really doesn't know, they just may give you an answer so they can kind of hush you up and they're not going to really provide you with that feedback that you really need. Like, no, guns are not going to go off. When I teach my classes, I really explain to the shooters, you know, the mechanics of the firearm so that they can understand that guns don't just go off by themselves. Dole J, thanks for joining. Reloading would be a good video. I can definitely do that. Um, on Facebook, Dexter commented, if you respect the firearm, it will respect you. That is absolutely true. Bro Terrell, thanks for joining. Um, on Instagram, this is really good. Um, Sean Richards stated, trying to wreck a round when an attacker is approaching is, tr is like trying to put on your seatbelt before a car accident. That's true. You never know when you will encounter a threat and you always want to be ready. So if you're ready, all you have to do is draw out your firearm and engage. Thanks for saying that, Sean. John Jeffrey um, stated that he wants to learn how to make custom ammo. Um, I definitely do not know how to do that. <laughs> All right, so if you guys have any other questions, feel free to comment them below. I love the engagement that you guys had tonight. It was amazing. I love when you guys interact with me. One last question that I have. I have, it's more of a favor that I want to ask you guys. So I don't know if you guys remember, I stated that I am trying to start a podcast, right? So I need help from you guys on a name. So if you guys have any information on a name, if you can comment below and let me know, or if you can send me a message, I would absolutely love that. I'm running into a huge roadblock when it comes to a name. Big One, thanks for joining. D Rocks, thanks for joining. And 3631 Tactical, thanks for joining.
So Mr. Zachary Taylor posts a question, any advice on carrying double action? Can I answer that next week? Because I think I can talk about the different action types um, for a while on the video. Oh, that straight shooting with Skip. That's a good one. So for those of you guys who are just joining, um, if you're on Instagram, sorry about that. I don't know why the video cuts off every single time. Um, if you are on Facebook, thanks for joining the video. As I stated in the beginning of the video, I have a huge announcement to make. Can anybody guess what my huge announcement is going to be? Mr. Taylor, I got to keep it professional. The whole government name. <laughs> like I said, if you guys have any questions, just carry a Glock and call it. <laughs> Feel free to post them below. And if I don't get the, to them today, I will absolutely have them for my next video. If you guys have any questions, Please send them to me throughout the week. I don't get to answer a lot of questions um, throughout the week because I have a full-time job and Skip's Tactical Solutions is kind of my side job. So I would love it if you guys would try to keep the questions for me to answer for the Talk To Me Thursday videos. You can send them to me anytime, but I try to answer them on the Talk To Me Thursday. So I said that I have a, um, a huge announcement to make and my Instagram follow, a couple of my Instagram followers did say, um, that is, um, when it comes to questions, um, when it, I try not to answer too personal questions. If it's a question that's not really professional, then, um, I, I try to keep it strictly professional. But, like I said it in the beginning, I said that I had a huge announcement to make at the end, and that huge announcement is we hit 10K followers on Instagram. I appreciate all of the support, all of the reposts, um, every single photo that I posted or content that I posted, and you guys have liked it, shared it, whatever it may be. I do, like, truly, truly appreciate it. And now we hit 10K followers. 10K followers was huge for us because we just started about six months ago. Um, so we are doing a giveaway. I have had some amazing companies provide products for the giveaway. Um, and I will be mentioning those companies and we will start our giveaway tomorrow. Um, anybody excited for the giveaway? Or does it just seem like I'm super excited by myself? <laughs> Happy Mallory, thanks for joining. <laughs> so I guess you're giving away free guns because I definitely can't afford to give away free guns. Um, 10K followers, Instagram. If you're not following us on Instagram, make sure that you follow us on Instagram. If you have friends or family that are not following us on Instagram, make sure that they follow us on Instagram because I will be doing the giveaway. We're going to give you like a week to um, complete the requirements for the giveaway. And then hopefully by next Thursday, maybe we'll just do a video on Friday. I don't know. Maybe we'll do a video on Thursday and then do just a giveaway video on Friday. But super excited. And some of the companies that will be with us with the giveaway are Chameleon Concealed Carry Handbags. They will be giving a free handbag away. So if you have wanted a Concealed Carry Handbag, now may be the time for it if you enter the giveaway. Um, we have 77 Solutions EDC. He will be giving away a free Glock 19 Inside the Waistband Black Holster. We have Southern Bullets Florida. 
and they will be giving away a free Kynex wallet. Um, also, we have Glock that will be giving away a few products and we have Tampa Tactical LLC, which is um, a local gun shop here and they will be giving away a couple of t-shirts. Also to ATs, which is the tee that I was wearing in my live video last week, they are giving away five shirts in the giveaway. So are you guys excited? <laughs> Water guns. I don't know about you guys, but I'm super excited. The requirements are going to be for you to, oh, and another company, sorry, Black American Outdoorsman's Facebook group. Um, they have a Facebook and an Instagram page, so if you're not part of their group, go ahead and join it. It's the bee's knees. Um, go ahead and like these pages, and the Black American Outdoorsman's group will be giving away a free shirt and a coffee mug. <laughs> Um, and for the people that are local, I have um, a nail salon, Lee Nails. They are giving away a gift certificate for a Manny Petty and drum roll, Shark Coast Tactical, which is in Sarasota, Florida, is giving away $200 worth of free custom gun work. So I don't know if you guys remember, I said that my... Um, Glock, my everyday carry is in the shop right now and getting some work done. They're actually working on my handgun and they're giving away $200 worth of free custom work. I don't know about you guys. Super excited. I wish I could win some of these things, but we love you guys so much that we are giving them away to you. Um, so Caesar8591 asked about uh, what about some of my shirts? So I'm actually going to put my shirts on sale on my website tomorrow. Um, my shirts come in the glitter version and they also come in the non-glitter version. <laughs> but um, I have my shirts on my website. They will be going on sale tomorrow for, I think it's for a few days. So you guys can grab my shirts. If you were in my Facebook group, I just actually did a giveaway of two shirts and some cleaning supplies. So if you guys are not in my Facebook group, go ahead and join my Facebook group. It skips Tactical Solutions Family on Facebook. And if you are not on my Facebook page, it skips Tactical Solutions as well. So you can join my Facebook group. I have a Facebook business page and then you can check out our website, which is skipstacticalsolutions.com. When you go to the website, please join the email list so that you can stay up to date on the classes and the different products that we offer. But I'm super excited. Are you guys excited too? I think I'm a little bit too excited. <laughs> but thank you guys that are on Instagram and the guys that are um, watching the video on Facebook. If you're on Instagram, please join the Instagram page. You will have to have liked our Instagram page. The requirements for the Giveaway will be coming out soon. I will start the giveaway tomorrow. So make sure that you share it with your friends and family. The way that I like to do the giveaway is I like for um, there to be a little bit of love for everyone. So I think there should be about 10 winners. Um, it won't be one person's going to win one big prize. There will be 10 separate winners. And we may have a couple of different products coming from um, other places. So if they get here on time, then I will add those to the giveaway as well. But if you're not on the Facebook page, make sure you join our Facebook page because once our Facebook page hits 3,000, then we will be doing a giveaway on our Facebook page. And we already have some awesome companies that have giving products for the Facebook giveaway, such as, <clears throat> excuse me, Glock has donated products for the Facebook giveaway. I am giving away a Alien Gear holster and Tampa Tactical is giving away a Glock backpack and Shark Coast Tactical will also be involved in the Facebook giveaway with another $200 worth of custom gun work. And two ATs will be giving away five T's for 
our Facebook giveaway as well. So if you haven't already liked their pages, please go ahead, head over, like their pages. Um, these are companies that I like and that I trust. So they are joining us and giving you guys some cool products. Um, any shooters in the Orlando area? Are you asking for the people that are on live? Shamika, I've been wanting a t-shirt. Have you been wanting one of these shirts? So um, my shirts, I wear them often in my pictures or my videos. If you guys are looking for my shirts, you can head over to my website, which is skipstacticalsolutions.com. I would love it if you guys would purchase one of my shirts. Or I have tank tops as well. I have red and black. If you guys would like those, those are on there as well. All right, guys, so that was my big news. We hit 10,000 on Instagram. I am so appreciative of every single person on Facebook and Instagram. You guys have been amazing so far. Um, thanks for being respectful. Thanks for being supportive and all of the above. Um, I am just a woman on a mission, and we are trying to <clears throat> make a difference in the gun community. Please add your friends, family. Um, like I said, I have the Facebook group. The Facebook group is where you will be able to um, post questions, comments, pictures, anything like that. And it's in a more intimate setting versus on a business page. Do you guys have any questions for me? So make sure that you guys join the giveaway. We just had a giveaway on the Facebook group and only I think six people joined the giveaway. So that's some pretty good odds when it comes to winning something. So make sure that you join. Make sure that you share it with your friends and your family unless you don't want them to win and you just want to win it, right? Um, <clears throat> and if you guys have any questions, feel free to ask questions. Um, if I don't get back to you really quick, like I said, um, I have a full-time job. And so um, sometimes my, and I'm a mother, and sometimes my um, responses are not very quick. Limbo, hi, I saw your business card in Tampa Tax School today. Thanks. Um, if you guys need anything, feel free to reach out. Um, Robin, thank you. I will be posting the requirements for the giveaway here soon. Um, Stephanie Shreves asks on... Facebook, when are you doing a kids training? Um, I will have to let you know. We had scheduled a kids training for September, but um, the place that I do my classes out of, there was some issues with um, scheduling, so I had to reschedule all of my classes, and the kids class didn't um, make it in there. So I will definitely reschedule that kids class. When it comes to the giveaway, make sure you have liked our Instagram page and I will post the requirements for the other things. <clears throat> DROCKS, um, I do both, Tra um, beginner and advanced. So if you guys see my videos and you think, oh, she's too advanced, um, no, I actually do love teaching new shooters because they don't have a lot of really bad habits that need to be broken. Um, advanced and um, intro. Um, limbo, how much are kids classes? That, um, I will be doing a free kids class here soon. So um, all the prices are on my website, but I would advise you to do the free class. And ages will be from school age, which I, it all depends on what the parents feel like their kids are ready for. But I would recommend once they have the attention span to sit through a course to put them through something like that, but it's gonna be a quick um, one hour class just talking to them about gun safety. And um, there'll be a uh, elementary school age class and then there will actually be a, um, I guess, middle school age class as well, middle and up. Dakota, thanks for joining. So for those of you guys who join late, we have a giveaway on Instagram. It will be at least 10 winners. So if you're not already on our Instagram page, please go ahead and follow our Instagram page. And we have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, 
at least seven companies that are giving away some pretty awesome products. So please make sure that you take advantage of it because they have been so gracious and supportive. And we have Chameleon Handbags, we have Southern Bullets, Florida doing a Kydex holster. Um, we have two ATs giving away five Ts. Glock is sending some goodies. We have um, a nail salon here local that is giving away a free Manny Petty. Shark Coast Tactical will be doing $200 worth of custom gun work and Tampa Tactical is donating two t-shirts and that's only for our Instagram giveaway but our Facebook giveaway will be coming up soon once we hit 3,000 followers then we have some goodies for Facebook as well uh, we will be doing a sale on our shirts on our website which is skipstacticalsolutions.com and if you guys have any questions feel free to reach out like I said the giveaway will be coming out tomorrow. Please join the giveaway and I appreciate all your support. As always, it's great talking to you guys on Talk To Me Thursday and I look forward to seeing you next Thursday. Have a good night.